Alabama Representative Jerry Carl getting his first look at the border since taking office. Our investigative reporter Brendan Kirby talked with the congressman. He joins us now live. And Brendan, this certainly is a point of contention between Jerry Carl and the Biden administration. Yeah, it sure is, Byron and Lenise. Congressman Carl says that the current situation is a crisis, one that President Joe Biden is ignoring. You see the Republican congressman come down here. Where are the Democrats at? Representative Jerry Carl is fired up. He spent today as part of a 10 congressman group seeing firsthand what Border Patrol agents in San Diego are dealing with. He says during a stop at an auto crossing, he saw 200 pounds of methamphetamine that had been found in vehicles in just the 12 hour period. Congressman Carl tells me the massive smuggling doesn't just affect districts near Mexico. I just witnessed 200 pounds of, of, of meth stacked in boxes. Now, that meth would wound up in Mobile in, in the streets and the arms of the kids in Mobile, and that infuriates me. You got to get your priorities straight. The congressman expresses disgust that the Biden administration has cut off funding for the border wall that former President Donald Trump had begun and is reversing other Trump era policies. The White House telling me in a statement that President Biden has made real progress. Quote, Wall construction along the southern border in recent years is just one example of the prior administration's misplaced priorities and failure to manage migration. The president is taking the challenge head on and is building a fair, orderly, and humane immigration system. What we've seen from the data is progress. A month ago, more than 5,000 children were in CBP custody. Today, that number is less than 800. Beyond drugs, Congressman Carl says illegal immigrants are overwhelming the border, and they're not all from Mexico and Central America. The congressman says foreigners from all over the world are using the same smuggling networks to get into the United States via the vulnerable southern border. On the way over here, we actually came to a place called uh, uh, Smuggler's Gulch, and uh, there was a family of about nine, and they were from um, Romania uh, with children that had crossed the border there. Brandon Judd is president of the National Border Patrol Council, which represents 14,500 Border Patrol agents. He tells me he's never seen the border in worse shape in his 24-year career. He also disputes the White House contention that the situation is improving. If you compare apples to apples, this is by far the biggest surge that we've ever seen. The only thing that we've done is we've made the revolving door quicker. That's it. Congressman Carl agrees. It's a huge issue. We're trying to get the president to wake up. And Congressman Carl says that border agents told him that uh, Sometimes smugglers will actually sell children to illegal immigrants trying to cross the border because they know that having children will make it easier to get admitted. Reporting live, Brendan Kirby, Fox 10 News.